me, 26M, with my girlfriend, 23F, resentment building over income difference and spending. Hi all, throw away for privacy reasons. Been with my girl Jane 3 years, living together for 2, moved into a new apartment together about 6 months ago. We've always been a team aimed towards building an awesome life together but things have changed. Please let me know if I'm the jerk in this situation, I need perspective. About the same time we moved into the new apartment, I got a promotion at my job and my income skyrocketed. It's a sales job, I make around 100-150k annually. Jane is self-employed, it's impossible to know how much she makes as she does not track it at all but I'd say she brings home about 36k slash year after her business expenses. Say we have different financial mindsets is putting things lightly. She's a shopaholic and I am a frugal guy who tracks every dime. Since I make more, I am obviously willing to cover more of our expenses. Since moving in, I have paid 100% of the rent, groceries, miscellaneous, power, internet, cell phones, etc. All spending really. I am the only one contributing to our savings and to paying off debt. I've built up 15k savings for a down payment on a house and paid off about 10k of our credit card debt. Jane will occasionally pay for takeout here and there but for the most part, her money, and mine, is hers to do with as she wishes. That's not the agreement we had at the beginning of our relationship, she used to make more than me, actually. It's just since I got this new job. I'd like to build a life and future for us together and she is happy letting me worry about that while she spends all the money. I want her to help, just a little bit. I would be ecstatic if she put $100 a month towards rent or savings so I'm not shouldering everything alone. I know I make a lot more but I'm not happy just financing her whole life. She saved up about $3,000 in cash and I was super excited to move it to the savings account for our house. But she blew it all on expensive Christmas gifts and then went through my Christmas cards from my parents, took $400 and spent it on some hair accessories that she never even used. That really pissed me off and I was hardly able to even talk to her for a day or two. I feel like her spending has gotten out of control, she is not contributing at all, and it's making me feel guilty about my own spending too. I have not really been able to enjoy my newfound income much. I would like to buy a new bike or whatever but then Jane blows thousands on useless shit and I feel like I can't justify treating myself at all. I guess I need to stand up for myself a bit but honestly things have gotten increasingly fragile between us for a lot of other reasons, not enough characters to describe and I'm hesitant to have a sit down with her. How can I put my foot down and either get her to control her spending or start contributing more? Too long didn't read, ever since I got a new job, Jane has stopped contributing towards savings slash rent and has started spending more than ever. We have big goals for our future but it feels like I'm the only one working towards it. How can we make things feel more equal, with the consideration that I do make much more than her? You guys need to have a serious conversation about budgeting. This is insane. Does she realize she has a spending problem? I think she does but I don't think she knows how serious I feel it is. I know a lot of it is my fault because I have been allowing it. I do like taking care of her but it's feeling less like a partnership and more like I'm her parent. Plan to sit her down tonight. Why would she change? She has it made. Oh my gosh, she has it made, she's not only not paying bills and using her whole salary for herself but she wants yours too? That's wild. Imagine if the shoe was on the other foot what do you think people would say? Yeah, exactly. There's no reason why she can't contribute a portion of the costs or at least not spend your money when you cover all the bills. Just a reminder that Jane is your girlfriend, not your wife. You should not be paying her debt as it is not ours it is yours and hers at this point legally. You need to approach her about respecting your boundaries and come up with an equitable system that works for both of you, not just her. Dude, he is walking all over you. She is using you. Grow a spine, tell her to start contributing or you're out. Is there anything I, 22F? 
can do for my 61M embittered father. My father has always been my idol. He is the most selfless, loving, family-oriented man I've ever met. He's always been the big jovial guy that everyone loves. Without turning this into a novel, I will say that my father has had a rough life and there have been many unlucky circumstances for him. His own father was mentally unwell, and he abused his kids and amp, amp, wife for many years before turning a gun on himself. When my father got older, he met my mom and that became a tumultuous relationship. Infidelity, manipulation and amp, amp, betrayal. As I was growing up, he got laid off from his job and started his own business. He's had a lot of financial success in recent years. He just doesn't have a businessman's mindset and he does way too many favors. He's a mechanic and he keeps letting people pay in installments even though half of them are never to be seen again. Whenever a single mother comes along, he fixes her car for free every month. Needless to say, he's become the guy on the block who is easily fooled. People go back to him over and over, knowing they can take advantage of his good fortune. My father has become so bitter, angry, and jaded. I've watched the most jovial man I ever met slowly turn into an angry, resentful person. I think all the years of being the good guy have worn on him. I worry he will spend his last years miserable, or that he will have an early death from all of the stress. Sometimes I pass him in the hallway, and and I don't even recognize him anymore. The only time I catch a glimpse of his old self is when the whole family is together. I wish there was something I could do. He trusts me, and I know he might listen to me if I had some sort of insight or something that can help him. As his daughter, is there anything I can do for him? TL, doctor, my dad has had a rough life, and I've seen it turn him into a bitter man from the happy-go-lucky guy he once was. As his daughter, is there anything I can do to help him? I wish I had advice to give, but I'm in practically the same situation and would also love advice. Waiting for more people to comment, sad face, best of luck, I really empathize with this. It sounds like he needs someone to take care of the business side of things while he takes care of the mechanics. If he has someone, then they need to be replaced. These parasites need to have limited access to your father, so they can't persuade him to screw himself over. You can't take that role for him but you might be able to find him someone trustworthy and perhaps keep an eye on things. He just needs to leave the business and front desk stuff to them. Unfortunately, the biggest impediment to any kind of positive change will be him. Unless he wants things to change, and believes they can, then he'll simmer in his bitterness. You need to sell this as a positive. He has to be persuaded that he doesn't need to bother with that anymore and he deserves a break to be able to tinker with cars without the fuss of customer service, bookkeeping, billing etc. Also spin it as a fresh mind and set of hands to spiff up the business and perhaps suggest new opportunities. If he is willing, Hopefully this will help. I would also suggest having a frank discussion with him. Praise his giving nature and everything else. He's giving a chance to people in need but perhaps they need to return that kindness and if they don't then they aren't worth protecting. Or giving further service to. Perhaps say this is where a business manager can help him. If he still wants to be generous, then discuss a budget for his charity and kindness. How much can he do to help others while remaining financially solvent? Help him identify the people who are genuine and who are parasites. Work out alternative forms of payment etc. Op, your father sounds lovely. Breaks my heart he's being so used. So one of my family members gets very anxious and angry and part of what I've realized over the years is that he has a tough time simply setting healthy boundaries. So in order to set a boundary, he first has to let things get so bad that he works himself up into a rage and then he can justify setting the boundary to himself. But to protect himself he now is sort of preemptively angry and suspicious all the time. It would be so much easier if he recognized that he doesn't need to justify a calm and neutral no. If you think your dad would be open to it, maybe show him this post and tell him how much you love and admire him. Therapy would probably be a great idea for him. A quick online search about setting boundaries will give you plenty of food for thought too. Some things are more important than money, such as the love and support of your children. This is the best way you can help him.
I think my dad had similar things happen to him too. He's not what he was. Still haven't figured it out. Suggest you look into how lawyers do pro bono work and help people down on their luck. It lets them make bank but also help people. Has to do with proper boundary setting. Might give him the space he needs to do what he feels is right, but also the space to be successful. My, 27F. X, 27 meters, his family, who I never met during the relationship, and especially sister is trying to stay in touch and even create a friendship with me. I don't know how to handle this. I, 27F, met this guy, 27 meters, last year in March and we started dating from May until September. I was worried in the beginning because he told me that he never had a relationship before because something always prevented him to go through with it. I found this strange but he reassured me he really felt ready this time and felt strongly about me. It was a very intense relationship. And it was obvious that he fell head over heels with me and all his actions showed this as well. I met his grandparents as we stayed a couple of days in their vacation home together, his friends knew all about me and he introduced me everywhere as his girlfriend. Eventually I fell very hard for him as well and I opened up, trusted him extremely, felt safe and started caring for him a big deal. For a while everything was perfect. I felt like 16 and on clouds. No doubt in my mind he would be my next long-term partner. He was kind, loving, generous, he seemed honestly in love. But then he started planning less and holding off, expressing doubts and even during sex I noticed he lost his erection and he seemed worried all the time. This made me anxious. After a few weeks of shit communication and feeling totally terrible because he was treating me shitty he eventually told me that he was not ready for a relationship after all. He dumped me and lived his life after this as if I didn't mean a thing to him. I was broken, felt not good enough for him and I couldn't understand where it went wrong. I did try a week or two to talk it over but eventually I let it go. When he dumped me he said that later maybe it would work when he would be ready and that he did want to see me again. I couldn't deal with that and broke off contact. I could have handled a let's take it slow and see where it goes but this just seemed like he was keeping me on the hook. Fast forward a few months later and his dad came to my shop. His dad apparently knew all about me and told me he thought it was a shame it didn't work out. I never met his dad as I held off in the beginning until we were official, even though he always wanted me to meet his parents. I was really confused as he was asking so many questions and asked me if we were talking again that he would had welcomed me into the family. A couple of days later his sister, who I also never met, wrote me on social media because she was looking for a job and wondered if I could help her get one where I work. We met up and I did help her to get that job which she eventually didn't take after all. But she started to text me, wanted to hang out with me and we also did act. Fast forward a week or so after those events, my ex wrote me to apologize and asked for a coffee. We met up and naturally I thought he would want me back because of all the strange things with his family. It ended up being a good talk but obvious he didn't change his mind. I was kinda fine with that but wanted to move on as I noticed it hurt me to see him again. But he started texting again once in a while, calling me send me memes. I heard of him every day at least once for two weeks straight. His sister was by that point out of the picture and I didn't hear her anymore at all. I started feeling the old pain again, not knowing where I was standing with this guy and superficial contact while he was out with friends and probably meeting other girls. He doesn't want something serious so why the hell would he keep in touch like that? We were not even seeing each other as FWB or something so I didn't get it. I broke it off immediately after that realization. I asked him one more time. What do you want from me? He told me again he was not ready. So I accepted and broke off contact once and for all. This has been about three weeks ago and all of a sudden his sister is texting me again. Asking me to meet up because she has guy problems and so on. She invited me to stay over for dinner with the family and all that. I like her, I do, but it just seems odd to me. Why is his family trying so hard to keep me around? I'm annoyed as I still have feelings for the guy and I'm still feeling very much hurt by his behavior. I don't know if I should ask her to leave me alone or if I should just suck it up and be her friend, maybe she really needs a friend? Am I weird to think this entire thing with his family is odd? Too long didn't read, my ex broke it off because he was not ready. His family, that I never met during the relationship, is trying to stay in contact. His sister tries to create a friendship with me and I don't know if I want that.